Hey, and welcome to Eat It 7. And today we're going to talk about five, five top things you should do when you're being committed to each other. Whether it's in a relationship or in a marriage, we're going to talk about the five top things that you can do that will release some stress off of that committed relationship. So let's get started. <music> Hey guys, welcome to EDS 7 and you know on this channel, on Saturdays, we have serious talks. And today is going to be about relationship commitments, whether it's a marriage or just a relationship. And you know nowadays, people don't want to wait to marriage to have sex or move in with each other. So that's why we're going to say relationship or commitments or marriage, engagement, whatever. When you commit yourself to another person, these are the five top things that you should do with each other. And the first thing on my list is the credit score. Before we move in with each other, before we get into this deep commitment, we need to do our credit checks and to each other credit score just so we can know where we stand, where we're getting into, know how far we can go, what we need to work on. So that would be the first thing. You always don't want to know where you stand at before you go any deeper. If this is the person you plan on being with, there should be no problem with checking the credit score. I check mine, you check yours, let's share it. The next top thing, number two, would be an STD and an HIV test. That's two different tests. That really should be the first thing. So we're going to switch that around. That really should be the first thing. And it should happen before you even have sex, whether you committed or not. But most times it don't. But you should have each other results of HIV and an STD test. Go with each other. Take the test. Make it a date. Let's go on a date. Go to the doctors. Have an HIV test. I need you to go with me. I need you to do this with me. Support me in this. Talk to them. If you know any couples that ever did that, comment down below. Let me know, guys. Let, let people know. It's okay to do that. Share it. Even with the credit score, let people know. It's okay to do that with each other. Especially if you're going to be committed. This is a person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. I know an awesome girl. Her name is Shantae Parker. And she do credit checks and credit scores for a living. If you want her information, comment down below. I'll give it to you. But this is things that should be doing, be done in a committed relationship. Long-term relationship. Not with everyone, but long-term relationship, the credit score. HIV, STD, that should be done with anyone that you plan on having a relationship with. Far as sex. Okay, number three, because we got credit score, we got STD, HIV, and now we're on number three, finances. All this should be done, guys, before you get in that committed relationship, before you get married, before you move in. All this should be done. You should talk about your finances, whether we're going to have separate bank accounts, whether we're going to have joint bank accounts, whether we're going to have both. Talk about these things. So won't come my best and no surprise and be in an argument. Talk about these things, guys. The five top things. Okay, so now we're on number four. Religion and faith. These things that can make or break a relationship, guys. We want you to have a strong, long-term relationship. So we're going to talk about these things. We're going to put them out on the table. And we're going to work it out. Okay? What your faith is going to be. What faith y'all going to practice in the household. Okay? So now we come to family values. Number five, family values. We're going to talk about discipline. We're going to talk about how we keep the house. All, all that kind of stuff. Little things. We're going to talk about these things. Do it mean it's always going to happen like that? No, some things might change. But at least we talked about it. And we got out and open. You, you know how I am. I know. You might think you know your partner. You'd be surprised when you had this talk. How much new, new stuff you will learn from your partner. 
you will be surprised. Okay? Even with family values, you might want to go see a licensed therapist. That don't mean you're crazy. That means you're getting someone else's opinion. An unbiased opinion. That's all that means. You can take it or you can leave it, but you're getting an unbiased opinion. If the therapist don't have to be your, your pastor, it don't have to be in the church, go to someone that you don't know. So it could be unbiased. I'm not saying that pastors are biased, but she might not feel good or comfortable with your pastor. You might not feel good or comfortable with her pastor. So go to a licensed therapy or you can go to the pastor. It's up to you. We went to a pastor. And I'm going to give y'all one more tip. Just one more tip. The biggest thing. And it's not, I didn't put it on the top five because it didn't even make the list because it's over the list. It's the biggest thing. Social media. So many relationships break up over social media. What you putting out there to the world. And would you bring it in your household off of social media? Talk about the do's and don'ts. What you like and dislike. What you will accept and will not accept. As far as being on social media. And guys, these are my five plus one tip. Of relationship and commitments. Marriage. And how to keep them long and strong. I'm Edith Seven. And I'll see you next Saturday.